What is the point of stenciling or hand painting a design onto a sock blank just to unravel it so you can use the yarn for something else? It seems like a lot of work for nothing. I get this question a lot and I really want to address it. Uh, dyeing sock blanks is a yarn dyeing technique, a hand dyeing technique that indie dyers use for a variety of reasons. Dyeing blanks can allow us to easily create gradients, or we can also dye them in completely random designs. And if the sock blank we're dyeing is double stranded, which means it has two strands of yarn knit together, then when it's unraveled, you can get a matched pair of socks and you know that the color transitions are gonna happen in the exact same place. And of course you don't have to make socks, but you know that the yarns are gonna be perfectly matched. So why bother stenciling on the blank or painting a floral design or anything? Well, for one thing, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun to create a really intricate pattern on yarn. And it's fun to unravel these designs to see how the color progressions on the yarn end up. Now, unfortunately, you won't see the design from the blank when you re-knit with the yarn. If I had a floral design, you're gonna see variegated patches of color. You're not gonna see those flowers come back when you re-knit with it. But if you're working with the blank, you know that that flower design was there. And so I like to think of it almost like the design is now in the DNA of the yarn and it's like a hidden little secret. But just like any type of art or craft, some techniques are a little more labor intensive than others and people have different preferences over what they enjoy making and what they enjoy working with. 